concerning the management of renal impairment is very important because 20% of patients with myeloma have renal impairment at diagnosis and 5% require dialysis from the time of diagnosis. So this is, is very, very important. And these patients have a shorter survival than patients with no renal impairment. And then these patients need to be treated very early and they need bortezomib-based regimen, bortezomib-dex, with a third agent. It is cyclophosphamide, doxorubicin, but the ideal would be the addition of davetumumab to the bortezomib based regimen. But this is not yet approved, the combination of DARA with bortezomib DEX, because we need a very early treatment. And then we can remove by hemodialysis, high cutoff hemodialysis filters, and also plasma exchange, the nephrotoxic light change, but the results of this approach is controversial. And the treatment with bortezomib-based regimens, novel therapy, has changed the prognosis of these patients because the response rate is higher, many patients can achieve dialysis discontinuation and reversibility of renal failure. In fact, I am presenting here the results of our series from over 50 years experience with 1,377 patients, 18% with renal failure. And we have seen that in the, uh, it was from 1970 to 2020, so over 50 years, and in the period 1970 to 2000, we compare this period with the more recent one, and we have seen a lower frequency of patients with renal failure at diagnosis, lower frequency particularly in severe renal impairment, decrease, significant decrease in the early mortality, and also an increase in reversibility, dialysis discontinuation, and survival, particularly in patients with severe renal failure treated with novel agents. So this is very, very exciting and, and encouraging, and I, I am excited to present this. Yeah, so.